Hello students and welcome to my channel Maths Hub. So today I'll talk about the breadth first search algorithm or the BSS algorithm. In my last video I talked about the depth first search algorithm. So today I'll tell you that what is the breadth first search algorithm. So let us see what does the algorithm say. The algorithm says that start from any node or vertex and explore all the neighboring vertices for each those neighboring nodes Note their undiscovered neighboring nodes and continue. Right? So, here I'll explain you the algorithm with the help of the question. So, we have the same spanning tree that we discussed in the DFS algorithm. So, here it's not given that from where you need to start the spanning tree. So, it's your choice. You can start from any vertex. Right? But let us start from vertex 1. So, here we will take the approach of a queue and we will take the approach of first serve, first out, right? First in and first out. So here, how will I go about this? So when I start from the first vertex, what we will do? We will make a queue over here, right? So in this queue, let us make the partitions. And the first vertex that has been inserted is vertex number 1. And we will write our answer. The way we are traveling, we are making the spanning tree. We will write the answer over here. So we start from vertex 1 and in our queue we have vertex 1. Now let us explore this vertex and see which vertices are adjacent to this vertex. And we will insert those vertices in the queue. So after 1 we can see that we have vertex 2 and we have vertex 5 in the neighbors. Right? So we will put the vertices 2 and vertices 5 in this queue. Right? And whichever vertex we are traveling, I'll just mark it with a green color to make it sure that we have traveled that. Right? So after 1 has been traveled, we have moved, either we can move to 2 or we can move to 5. So let us move to vertex 2. Right? So 1 is done, 2 is done. And when we move to vertex 2, now which vertices are adjacent to vertex 2? We can see that we have vertex 3, we have vertex 5 and we have vertex 6. But in the stack, uh, sorry, in the queue we have already inserted vertex 5. So we will insert the rest of the vertices that were adjusted to it. That is vertex 3 and vertex 6. Right. So now from vertex 2, let us see that which is the next vertex in the queue. We have vertex 5 in the queue. So we will move to vertex 5. And let us mark this vertex 5 with the green color. So to make sure that this vertex has been traveled. Right. So 5 is also done. Now after traveling to 5 we can see that. Who is the next? Float this vertex and we can see that we have vertex 6 that is adjacent to it. Right. So vertex 6 has already been inserted in this queue. So we move to now vertex 6. Right. So now vertex 5 has been already inserted. So now in the queue we have vertex 3. So now let us go to vertex 3. So in the answer we will write vertex 3 over here. And we have traveled this vertex 3. Now after traveling to vertex 3 explore this vertex. And we can see that vertex 4 is a uncovered, undiscovered vertex. And it is adjusted to it. So we will insert this 4 in this and after inserting 4, let us see that so 3 has been done. So the next vertex in the queue is 6. So now let us move to vertex 6. So we go to vertex 6 now. So in our answer, let us print vertex 6. And after traveling to vertex 6, 6 has been covered. And you can see that no more vertex is untraveled. So now in the queue, we have vertex 4. And so we travel to number 4 towards the end. Right? So here, for what is the spanning tree that we get? We move from 1 to 2. So we have 1 to 1 to 2. Then from 2 to we travel to vertex 5. Then to vertex 3. Then to vertex 6. And then we travel to vertex Right. So this is your spanning tree that we get. Right. So I hope it is clear. So here 
So what is the basic difference in the BFS and the DFS method? In DFS from whichever vertex we are traveling, we have to discover, we have to explore all the vertices and we have to put them in a queue and we have to move according to the elements that we are inserting in the queue. But in the DFS method, we will go to the depth first. We will, if we start from vertex 1, we will go to the depth and we will put the vertices in the stack and once we move on to the dead end, then we have to backtrack the vertex and we have to leave vertex 1. Right? So I hope you have understood the BFS method. So you can check the solution over here. It is explained here. And then again, it's not necessary that you will get only one unique spanning tree. You might get many spanning trees. Right? Okay. So what are the real life applications of these minimum spanning trees? You can see that spanning trees can be used for landing cables, the TV networks that we lay down, for tour operations, for computer networking, then for study of the molecular bonds in chemistry, right? And then in landing, leveling your computer wires. So here you can see that this is how the telephone wires are being layered. And this is the central office. And from there to various home, you have to put your network. Of wires so you have to minimize the total length of the wire right so this is where we require a minimum spanning tree we want that all the vertices should be covered but in minimum length right so that's all so thank you so much for listening to me and if you like the video do hit the like button and if you have not subscribed my channel do subscribe my channel to get the latest updated videos believe in yourself and you will be able to Thank you.